So the Redskins are coming into town this weekend, a place that you used to call home. You spent right. extensive time there. Was it difficult for you to leave and, and yeah. call this place Yeah, home? anytime you uh, leave a place that you've been in that long, you build uh, real relationships, real bonds uh, with people obviously in the building, uh, on the field, and in the community. Uh, so that was the hardest thing leaving there, those, those relationships that I've built outside of football that are, have become more like family members. Uh, and then you're out of your comfort zone. But uh, been very blessed to be here these last two years, uh, very welcoming and uh, really uh, love this community and everything that it brings. You coined the term one man gang for yourself. Right. Coming into the league undrafted as a free agent, mm -hmm. did you find it that you needed to have that upper edge and have that versatility? Well, it, was, it, was, it kind of be, uh, became uh, birthed out of necessity. I mean, coaches kept moving me around. I kept uh, showcasing my talent at each position that they put me in. Multiple positions on offense and defense. Right, yeah, I've played tight end, guard, fullback, uh, defensive tackle, DN, outside and inside linebacker. So uh, it's all about you know shining when you get your opportunity and I was able to do that obviously with great coaching and uh, other players that kind of showed me the ticks and tacks for each position because they are different. And uh, we're just able to use it and, and showcase it when my time came. And as a, you know, a linebacker here, Coach Ty Bowles has done the same thing. You were a special teams captain over there and mm -hmm. then here as well. What did it mean right. for you just to get that so early on here? Yeah, it's a huge honor. Um, people um, obviously respect what I do on the field, but I think more so what I do in that locker room, showing up each and every day. Uh, it's not a facade, you know, I'm a professional, I handle myself in the right way, and it's just the most respect that you can get when, you, when your team votes your captain. What is it like with some of the younger players after suffering your first loss here and just trying to pick them up as the captain, what do you have to do? Um, I think uh, just making sure guys never get too high or too low. I mean, when you have victory or defeat, you never want to change who you are because of the outcome of the game. You want to be the same person you are each and every day. And that's the biggest thing, getting those young guys to be consistently playing at a high level, no matter if they're, we win or lose. If you play in this league long enough, you are going to get beat and, or get dominated in the game, but it's how you respond in the next week uh, that makes you as a football player. Do you see any guys, younger guys here on this team that kind of reminds you of yourself? Um, there's some guys, you know, obviously some undrafted guys uh, that have come up big. Uh, uh, Tony Jefferson, Tony Jefferson. Mm -hmm. um, a Jerron Brown, who was a later round pick, uh, who has really kind of stepped up and have played that special team role. I think they see me as kind of a living testimony that you can be in the league for 10 plus years, uh, go to Pro Bowls, you know, be, be honored as a special teams player. So it makes it more um, uh, tangible to them. So those guys have really stood up and have done a great job. Next man concept up works. I think, um, um, Kime and BA and the whole coaches that have done a great job as far as bringing in players that can create a lot of depth for us and uh, really coaching us up. So when you do have a guy like Doc go down or Calais go down for a couple of weeks or Matt Shaughnessy go on IR, you have guys that can step in and fulfill those roles and play at the same type of uh, level. They may lack some experience, but because we're such a tight-knit group and have great chemistry, we kind of pick each other up and help each other along the way and go out there and play. Uh, you know, whether we got all starters out there we started with or all backups, we're going to play the same way.